For most of the Great War of 1914 to 18, the Royal Horse Artillery were largely indistinguishable from their Royal Field Artillery counterparts. However, it should not be forgotten that it was E-Battery who fired the first British artillery round of the war during a skirmish on the 22nd of August, 1914. In all, some 40 horse artillery batteries served in the Great War. B and L fought at Gallipoli, and the HAC distinguished themselves in Palestine. But perhaps the most famous action was L batteries at Neary on the 1st of September, 1914. The battery was surprised in bivouac by a German cavalry division. Their guns were rapidly destroyed, all except one. This was kept in action for over an hour against tremendous odds. The gun was manned by Battery Sergeant Major Dorrell and Sergeant Nelson. The battery captain, Captain Bradbury, crawled back and forth over bullet-swept ground to fetch ammunition from the limber before being killed. All three men were awarded the Victoria Cross for their supreme bravery in holding off the German attack until a successful counter-attack could be mounted by the 1st Cavalry Brigade. After the Great War, the Royal Horse Artillery was cut to just 15 batteries. In the 1920s and 30s, many changes took place with the onset of mechanization. But the Royal Horse Artillery maintained its reputation as a corps d'elite. The last mounted horse artillery battery was K, who paraded at St John's Wood in October 1939, fully mobilized for war prior to their move to join the 5th Regiment Royal Horse Artillery, with whom they were duly mechanised. During World War II, the Royal Horse Artillery expanded yet again to a total of six regular and six territorial regiments. By the end of the war, almost all these regiments were serving with armoured divisions in Italy or Northwest Europe. Operating with armour gave the Royal Horse Artillery batteries and regiments the opportunities for glory and distinction which had largely been denied them in the Great War. Fresh laurels were won in many battles, especially in the Western Desert, and those which are best known are generally actions in which guns fought tanks down to the muzzle. K Battery were the first to distinguish themselves in 1940, when they held an advancing German column in the village of Hondegem in Belgium. They took to street fighting as though it were their normal occupation, withdrawing only after F Troop had had half their guns destroyed. Brigadier Jock Campbell, who as a major had commanded C Battery Royal Horse Artillery, won the Victoria Cross at Sidi Rizé in November 1941. At a confused moment in the battle, he rallied his tanks and led them successfully from his staff car. Second Lieutenant Ward Gunn was awarded a posthumous Victoria Cross with J Battery in the same battle. He handled his two-pounder anti-tank guns magnificently at a critical point in the battle. By the end of the fight, only one piece survived, with Ward Gunn himself in the layer's seat, from where he destroyed two German tanks before being killed. The line held. The Chestnut Troop, B, E and the Rocket Troop, took part in the destruction of the 8th Panzer Regiment at Tobruk in April 1941. And in June 1942, the South Nottinghamshire Hussars were overwhelmed only after an heroic stand at Gazala. These took place on the whole before 1942, when the habit of 
penny-packeting armour was abandoned and a sense of proportion was restored.